true. And Dave, as we get ready to toss it over there to you, they won today. <laughs> they win. They it. did. Yeah, we had a win. Yes. We had a win. <laughs> and I think because it's we wore purple today, and that's yes. was our hope, yes. right? Yes. That's right. Today. All right, Rockies. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be a great season. Already showing that, huh? <laughs> Out there right now, the weather I'm sure helped the Rockies win today. We got blue sky sunshine. They're downtown, right in the middle there. 55 degrees up on Lookout, and downtown it's 52. Here's a look from City Park back in the city, and uh, just a uh, not a cloud in the sky in that shot. Very very pretty uh, as we get our warm up going. Officially at DIA, we have 51 degrees for the high temperature today. Downtown, we're already uh, 50. 53 has been our high so far, 53 in Loveland as well. And look at Brighton right down the road from uh, DIA, 57 out there. They were trying to get to 60 today, just quite didn't get there. I think tomorrow will be the day. Mostly clear skies across the northeast and for the, uh, the entire state for that matter with just a few clouds out west. Big ridge of high pressure here over Las Vegas. We got another one that will shoot in coming up on Sunday for next week. But you look right in the middle and you say, hey, hey, hold on a second. There's a little storm going into Portland, North uh, California here, and there is a little bit of rain. That may bring us some clouds for Saturday coming up, but I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Here's the uh, the ridge, the flat ridge initially that will hold things up. You get the little dip behind it here and the business end of that would move up into Wyoming and Montana. So that shouldn't have a huge effect on us then. Here comes that next ridge and it's a big warming ridge that will sl slowly move right over the central Rockies and that one may deliver some records Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Temperatures near the 80s before our next cool down the following weekend starts to move in our direction. So in the short term here, Mostly clear skies across the state. Just a couple of clouds uh, in the morning tomorrow south of the city. Colorado Springs into Lyman. And then for us in the afternoon, we might have a few cloud up buildups. For the most part, though, the entire state should be mostly clear. Might get a little windy down there in southeastern Colorado, the way things look right now. And for that reason, there's a red flag warning for that part of the state. Uh, tomorrow noon till 8 p.m. Could see gusts up to 40 miles per hour from Walsenburg and Trinidad into Springfield and up and on up into Burlington as well. So that's the way it looks for tomorrow, but tonight we're looking at mostly 20, so a cool night. 22 in Fort Collins should be right around 20 in Evergreen, 25 in Parker, and then highs tomorrow. Mid to upper 60s all over the place here, so we start to really warm up. 70s down to the southeast in the mountains, 40s and 50s. Spring-like skiing conditions in full force up there, so mostly clear cold tonight. About 29 downtown, 26 at the airport tomorrow. Lovely 60s, mid 60s from Denver out to the airport. The real warm up starts in gear. And then tomorrow night, we've got a night game. Should be 64 for the pregame. First pitch about 59 and about 52 by the ninth inning here. Looking ahead now for the weekend, Easter weekend, 67 on Saturday. Easter looks great at 69 degrees. If you get up early, sunrise 632. Should be about 38 degrees if you're going to any of these sunrise services. And then we warm it up to near 70 degrees by the afternoon. 78 on Monday. The record is 80 so we'll get close to that I think we'll tie or break the record on Tuesday and again on Wednesday and then 74 on Thursday and then a cool down on Friday and Saturday of next week but why should we look at that at all when we got 80 <laughs> degree temperatures before That's that true. David we, looks lovely we should just put a curtain